asking your first and last name and how to spell it, please. Sure. My name is Jake Angeli. That's J-A-K-E and A-N-G-E-L-I, Angel with an I. And can I ask your age? Yeah, sure. I'm 32. And um, I heard you say that you've come to several of the president's other events before. Why is it so important to you to come to these events and show your support? Well, one thing I can say is that a lot of the people in the media that level a lot of scrutiny at Donald Trump, level a lot of accusations at Donald Trump, could not handle an, even a percentage of the amount of scrutiny and the amount of allegations that are being leveled at him from so many different levels. And I think it's important that the President of the United States knows that his people support him. And I think it's important that the President of the United States knows that it isn't just the opinions of the people in the media that are out there, that there's good patriotic Americans that see everything that he's going through and are willing to stand up and say, hey, man, I see what you're going through. I salute you. Thank you for doing your job. So do you believe most people um, support the president and the actions that he's taken? Well, I definitely think that certain media corporations like to give their perspective on the matter. And I think, yes, so there is a whole lot more public support than some lamestream media networks would like to uh, you know, show, because then that would end up going against their narrative. And what's your um, response to the president's, the president's response to this pandemic so far? Well, first of all, I think it was a really wise idea to close China up early and, and not allow any citizens other than American citizens to come in from China. I also think it was a wise idea to close the borders. Um, I also think that his response in creating some sort of a, uh, a press briefing every single day to help reassure Americans is a good thing and, and a good idea because I think a lot of people out there are worried a little more than they should be because if we look at the numbers and we look at the way that the projections were pushed by the media relative to what the numbers are actually like turning out to be, then we see that there's been a lot of hysteria, a lot of fear in people's hearts that was completely unnecessary and it was put in there by the mainstream press because they found out that if they put this story out there, they got a lot of views because people are stuck at home, you know, and they're going to be watching the 